Welcome to a Key Smash Studios tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Unreal's basic jump function along with some extra implementations so that way we can allow a player to hold down a jump button and continuously jump instead of having to mass click every time they hit the ground. This is part three of a five video series. The previous two covered movement and rotation, and the next two videos will be covering camera manipulation, including switching between first and third person. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. The first thing we're going to want to do is add an action mapping. So we'll go up to edit, project settings, scroll down to input, and we're going to add a action mapping. You want to make sure it's action and not axis. And the name we're going to give it is jump. And I'm going to map it to my spacebar. And the difference between an action and an axis is its return type. So an action mapping is going to return a true or false. Either I have pressed this button or released this button, whereas an axis mapping is going to return a ranged value. And this range value allows you to map things such as a joystick on a controller, as well as things like our mouse X and basic movement. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and open up our my character script. And we're going to go over to our header and we're going to add two new things. The first one will be a function and I'm just going to call it void check jump. And what this function will do is check whether our player is currently jumping and if they are stop them from jumping and vice versa. So in order to do that, we're going to need a property. And this property is going to be a bool and I'm going to call it jumping. And now that we've done that, we can go over to our CPP and inside our CPP, the first thing we want to do is go to our constructor so that way we can default our jumping property to false. It's very important to default it to false as our player obviously won't be jumping from the beginning and as our check jump function is going to be switching the boolean between true and false based off its current value, we want to make sure that it's false in the beginning. The next thing we're going to do is go down to our tick function. And we're going to say if we're jumping, then call Unreal's jump function. Unreal already has a jump function for you, so we don't have to create any code for that. This function allows your player to jump up and down while knowing whether it's already in the air or not, so that way your player can't just mass click and continue going higher and higher. From here, we can go ahead and do our inputs. So we're going to have two new input components. Instead of bind axis, we want to make sure to do bind action. And the first argument for this is the same as the others, our mapping name, which we call jump in our project settings. However, you also have an extra argument inside of this for your key event. And so we need to make sure that we put this here. Our first one is going to be whenever we've pressed. So we're going to do IE pressed. And then it's going to follow the same arguments as the previous one. So we're going to do this and then a my character and then our check jump function. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste this because the second part is going to be the same as the first part, except we want it to call it again on released. So we'll change the key event to IE released. And that's all we have to do inside of our input section. Now we can go ahead and create our check jump function. So void a my character check jump. And inside this, what we want to do is see our current state of jumping. So we'll do if jumping, then we no longer want to be jumping. So jumping is false. And then if we're not already jumping, so else, then we want to be jumping, so we'll do jumping true. And the reason we're doing this is because this function is called on pressed and on released. Since our jumping is defaulted to false in the beginning, the first time we press the button, we know that it'll then become true. And so until this player releases the button, that jumping will stay true. And then inside of our tick function, where we're checking if jumping's true, our jump function that Unreal provides will be called. So our player will continuously jump while that value is true. Upon releasing, check jump will be called again. And this is the player saying, I no longer want to be jumping. And so it will go through and say, 
say jumping has been true, the player has been jumping. So we'll go ahead and set jumping to false. And then inside the tick function, jumping will no longer be true. So the jump function that Unreal provides will no longer be called. And this is all of the coding that we'll be doing. So we can go ahead and go back to the scene and we can go ahead and compile this code. So now that the compile is completed, we can go ahead and click play. And then as you can see, if I click, I continuously jump. But if I also hold, I keep jumping once I hit the ground. So as a recap, we use a Boolean and a basic function to create a way for the player to be able to hold down the spacebar and continuously jump without having to mass click. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments or feel free to join our Discord. The link for that will be in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.